ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Adam Friedland Show video episode, non-Patreon video episode number one. Test episode. Test, video test two. Video test two. This Marker. Time, this time, well, I don't know when the, uh, you might be up now, so maybe talk to the camera. So oh, I'm talking to the camera, okay. Yeah, yeah it's, a to- it's a whole new world for me, actually, right now. Uh, Maybe but my eye line should be like a little bit up. Because if you're looking directly at a camera, it creeps people out. We'll figure this out later. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. To, you can say it now. You're on Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Adam Friedland Show. I'm your host, Adam Friedland. The date, what is it? August, August 3rd, 3rd and I'm 2020. And I'm your producer. And you're my producer, Nicholas Millions. Guys, it's the Adam Friedland Show, ladies and gentlemen. And we're live here from... The Matrix? <laughs> no, folks. It's CGI, computer-generated imagery. A trick of the camera. It's fake. But let me ask you this. Is it any more fake than the absolute clown world that we're living in now? Mm-hmm. Because we must be living in a fake circus world if Donald Trump is walking free. Donald Trump, the mastermind behind the greatest and deadliest attack on American democracy the grand plot to destroy America, the rape of the capital, the racist insurrection of all insurrections, a crime so grave and broad, it makes the Holocaust look like a, like, I don't know. Okay, it makes the Holocaust look like common shoplifting. It's not. What? What's the problem with that? I don't know about that copy. Okay. Um, If you haven't been paying attention. Sorry, is it any, so uh, just so we're clear, well, and again, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta start. I know. Yeah, and it's 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 obviously it's my fault. I'm the it's one that's your, writing it okay. wrong. But just so I know, because I'm not, you know, we we well, rap, I just need a teleprompter. If you would hold it, like, it's not a complaint. But you know, yeah. if like I could get, oh, whoop, I think it. Where is go. it? I got it. I got okay. it. Okay. All right. Uh, more more. It's not a complaint, but if you know, you could give me if you could <laughs> air this feedback. You know, because we finish recording and then you leave, and I'm, I stay here and I clean everything up. And no, I mean. If you had notes for the next time, you know, like, well, hey, we, don't talk about the Holocaust. It seems like we were talking about the Holocaust. I know, but at this, I'm saying in that, mm-hmm. we're saying that the Holocaust is bad. Yeah, but I feel like we should move on from the Holocaust. Not as culturally, but as a reference well, point what for would the show. You, if you wanted to say, because look, it's your yeah. show, it's your voice. Mm-hmm. You want to express how bad the January 6th is. Is it worse or better than the Holocaust? Well, you said it makes the Holocaust look like common shoplifting, so that actually diminishes the... But that's how bad January 6th is. Yeah, but I don't think it's worse than... Okay, let's keep going with the Okay, Holocaust. I'm All sorry. Right. All right, from no, now you don't on, have to apologize. I don't want to know. From apology. now on, I'm going to say the Holocaust was the greatest t- crime, the greatest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you want? Not the greatest thing that's ever happened. The, uh, quite quite the opposite. Of, the worst it's thing like that's ever the, happened. It's like the sliced bread of crimes. Is that what we're going for? It's the gra- in f- terms of crimes, it's the greatest thing. Sure. Okay. Yeah. But it's not the greatest thing in general. It's the worst thing in it's general. It's the World War I of crimes, basically. No, I don't know about that. Why? Uh, okay. Let's keep, let's keep going. Well, I'm saying, if you think about all wars, mm-hmm. World War I, probably okay. the, the worst. Yeah. So the Holocaust is the World War I of, okay, I see what in you're the saying. way I, of crimes. I don't know about this shirt also. Oh, you picked it out. That was your shirt. Well, I just, I don't know. I, I was excited in the store, but I don't know. I didn't realize it was a notorious B.I.G. shirt. Yeah, it's different pictures. Do we have clearance for that? We're gonna, we might have to get <laughs> the editor to, to yeah. make okay. them white. All right, let's, um, okay. We'll change, we'll change all of these to Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Do we have clearance for that? Yeah, of course. Okay. She's public domain. Once somebody dies, they're public domain. He's dead, too. Uh, well, you, you get into a weird territory in terms of owning a black person. Yeah, you you might want to rethink yeah, that's a good idea. bringing that up. Yeah, that's true. Uh, All right. Especially um, if you're going to lecture me about I'm not the Holocaust as if, I don't, if I'm not like, you know, like I know I've heard of people that have, di- you know, I went to the museum, so it mm-hmm. affects me as much as it does a Jewish person. I don't want to... Okay, I just want our work. I, went, I walked through the museum. Okay. I had an, I, I, ha, I, the emotions that you can access mm-hmm. as far yeah. as the Holocaust is concerned. Yes, mm-hmm. I may be just some Irish fucking faggot or whatever, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't say that. But yeah, I've 
I've been to the Holocaust Museum, yeah. and I had an emotional connection there. Mm-hmm. In the so gift shop, what? they sell like little passports of the victims. You like that part? I did. I thought that was cool to yeah. have. Cause it's like you're a Jason Bourne. You can exactly. like, open it up. Uh, you yeah. have like eight passports. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, you could do that. You could I show mean, a Holocaust person like, actually, at the border. Yeah. I died in yeah. the Holocaust. Actually, my name is yeah. My name is Daniel is, Finkelbaum. <laughs> I was born in. 1919. My name is Masha Rosenblum. Yeah, exactly. And my father was upset that I was leaving the secret annex to go learn how to read Uh at the library against his wishes. Yeah, exactly. And now I've I've killed all of us by trying to learn. Yeah. 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 It was all her fault. Yeah. Um, okay, so do you want, should we go back to the monologue? Yeah, we worry, because we, we must be living in a fake circus world if Donald Trump is walking free. Yeah. Donald Trump, the mastermind behind the greatest and deadliest attack on American democracy, the grand plot to destroy America, the rape of the Capitol, the racist mm-hmm. insurrection of all insurrections, a crime so grave and broad it makes the Holocaust look like common shoplifting. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's just move on yeah, from I that. I mean, maybe this is just a, it's a test. This, this sure, isn't the actual show. Yeah, like, we you don't, don't have the set yet, but um, well, you can't see where I am. Oh, so, I'm yeah. sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna, just guys, we're, we haven't bought a teleprompter. We, have bought, we bought two. We tried with the iPad, but okay. then he couldn't see it from this side of the, the room. And we, if you notice, we're in the smaller room because this is the one with the green screen. Right, we're in the break. This is the second room where we film remotes, sketches. Anyway, okay, we don't, well, we'll they don't, we don't have, we will see. Um, okay. So I'll go from the last the sentence. Holocaust, so, okay. Yeah. Um, Maybe try the line, just, I'm not going to be pushy, but try the line one more time to see if, Okay. I thought that would be the big Donald plot. Trump, the mastermind behind fact, the greatest this, attack. This line is sort of the Holocaust of the monologue, mm-hmm. because it's the best part. Okay. All right, I, I'm not going to take that bait, but okay. We'll just, <laughs> we'll just continue. Okay, okay. all right, so thank you. All right, all right, okay, all right. Hmm, okay. Uh, Donald Trump, the mastermind behind the greatest and deadliest attack on American democracy, the grand plot to destroy the American capital, the rape of the capital, the racist insurrection of all insurrections, a crime so grave and broad it makes the Holocaust look like common shoplifting. <laughs> I don't know if that's a guy. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. Now, if you haven't been paying attention to the January 6th hearings, I don't blame you. They're hard to stomach. It probably makes me feel as revolted as Stormy Daniels did when she saw Donald Trump's penis, which she refuses to say is small for some reason, but we all know it is. In fact... She doesn't even have to say it. I know my penis is bigger than Donald Trump's. That's pretty good. That's pretty funny. I don't know. That's an applause, not a laugh. I'm going to do a lot of this kind yeah, of stuff. You should feel yourself. Yeah, I've got to start feeling myself more. Yeah. I'm going to use the camera. Okay. Um, sorry, one second. Okay. I'm not saying it's big, but it's definitely bigger than his. So this is more your speed. Yeah, penis yeah. stuff. Penis stuff. We'll make a note. Less Holocaust, yeah. more penis. Center left, besides yeah. the, the anti-Semitic line. Um, the hearings wrapped up last week with the select committee taking a break on the issue for the summer. Because I guess something, has Im- something as important as democracy can't wait until beach season is over. <laughs> That's funny. <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, and- my finger... <laughs> We're going to have to pad the laughter on this one a little bit. Yeah. We're padding it. I feel like this monologue may be... Uh, pad it. This, it's it's not, not a very good... Yeah. We're going to sweeten it a bit. We shouldn't have pissed off that Tucker guy, I think. Yeah, well, you, mean, he you was said you wanted calling more... Re- you said you wanted more uh, center, center left, left stuff. So yeah. this is about as good as it gets we're gonna find our. Stuff. We're going to find our voice. Don't worry. This yeah. is a test they know. Okay. Okay. And the latest development is a bombshell, folks. And then we'll have like a... Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, well, that note's going to the editor. Okay. He'll, he'll throw all that Okay, in cool. Um, Alex Jones has accidentally sent all of his text messages and emails to opposing counsel. And now they're being requested by the committee, which can only mean one thing. Alex Jones is about to go to prison for life. And that could not make me any happier. Which brings us to today's theme, folks. Spite. 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 Put, put a little... You wanna... Spite. Is it really that bad to be spiteful? I'm not out here trying to be a good person after all. I'm a progressive, woman-minded, and sexually conscious, rape-hating liberal. I love gay people. I love trans people. I'm not supposed to have room in my heart. Wait, room in my heart. Oh, for spite. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, it just says I'm not supposed to have room in my heart. Maybe that was a Freudian slip. I don't yeah. think you have room in your... Go ahead. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but often I find myself fantasizing about getting revenge on people I've never even met. Some things I'll never... Some things I'll just make... Some things I'll just make them up whole... Oh, okay. Sorry. This is a clumsy... I'm, I'm sorry for that clumsy read. Go ahead, yeah. I mean, sorry, if you don't want to do it, we can... I don't know, okay. We're, um, already at, we're already at 12 minutes for the monologue, but we don't have a guest this time, so I feel like it's... Uh, we got to pad things out with the monologue. We're going to have to pad. We're going to have to pad. <laughs> Dan really carried the show on Sunday. I think at, we all at, got... At, but, at, at patreon.com mm-hmm. slash come town yeah. for now. Okay. If you want to check that out, we had a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, coming up, two weeks, I will be at Irvine, California, at okay. the Irvine mm-hmm. Improv. I'll be there. Mm-hmm. We are trying to move these tickets. I'm either having Mike Racine or Brandon Mordell open. I forgot that's, who... That's fun. I forgot who I requested. But please, come on out, You're folks. You're going to want to check that out. The Irvine Improv in Irvine, California... Tickets are on sale now. You can check my website. You can check their website. Uh, you can check my social media. I'll be posting about it on social media. That's a place you can find it. Um, okay. Tell your friends. All right. Irvine Improv. Irvine, mm-hmm. California. It's about 45 minutes away from Los Angeles. It's in Orange County, yeah. If you're in Los Angeles, you want to come to a comedy show, drive on down. 45 minutes outside of rush hour. Easy. And the shows yeah. are, what, 7, 8 o'clock? That's... Driving down there, you're, you're, you're getting the tail end of rush hour mm-hmm. at most. Yeah, you're going to leave in at your three. Seats. Yeah. You, maybe you'll be a little bit pissed off from driving, but you'll have, you've driven. And, and you're going to laugh. It's over. Now you're ready to laugh. Mm-hmm. And when you're driving home, rush hour is okay. over. You've forgotten all, right. all about it. Yeah. So it's the, hot, the Irvine Improv in Irvine, California, mm-hmm. August. Within the window of the 17th through the 22nd, okay. I can't remember the exact dates. Yeah. Go ahead and just to be safe, block off that whole period. Yeah. If you're a Los Angelino, you have access to a large network of your Latino family or your underground midnight club car racing friends. Yeah. Tell them about it. Uh-huh. I want the vibe of the show to be like the beginning of Fast and the Furious when yeah. it's it's and they're kinda, all they're hot girls. Right. Yeah. Showing I the want cars. A, uh, a Korean girl with like yeah. a tiny hat turned sideways and a wife beater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she's hot. You, she calling everyone the N word. Yeah, yeah. You know, like that. You know, she says it. Yeah. She not only says it, she embodies it. She's mm-hmm. the she's the kind of person that they made that word for. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. At the Irvine Improv. All right. Irvine, California. Okay. Check it out. All right. Back to the monologue. Back Some to the monologue. Th- oh, shit. It locked. Okay. Some things I'll just make up whole cloth. I think there was an extra word in that sentence. That's why it was. Probably. Of, I mean, yeah, I just yeah. wrote it. You just wrote it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We've I'll been, think of took, a man. You know how long it took to get this fucking thing up on it the wall? It took a long time, folks. They're yeah. Not, yeah. Okay. Never mind these goddamn cameras. Yeah, I know. We spent a lot of money. And the lens is from Ukraine. Don't seem to be that yeah, good. Yeah, this one's kind of fucked up. That one's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to fix that for the next one, folks. Anyway, I'll think of a man driving a big truck with dark clouds of smoke pouring from his chrome towers, and I'll imagine myself getting into an altercation with him, finding myself surprisingly agile in combat, removing his pants, and exposing his small penis and balls to an audience of my vegan LGBT and Indian wigger friends. <laughs> Laughter 
My therapist says this is sp- a spiteful mentality and that it's bad, but honestly, it makes me happy. And if it makes me happy and re- results in me voting correctly, what's the harm in it? <laughs> So today on the Adam Freeland Show, we discuss spite. What is it? Oh, sorry. Spite. What? Oh, okay. Fuck, man. Can we, can we just retake this? Can we retake the whole thing? No, why? Because I fucked up the monologue again. Do you really want to do the whole thing over again? I mean, I just, I can't get, fuck up the monologue every fucking episode. Do you seriously want to redo it? I don't know. What do you think? I think it's fine. You think it's fine? Yeah. All right. Okay. If you want, I mean, you can hate the monologue, but... What it's just embarrassing that I, like, people think that I can't read the, like, and I'm not it, literate. Be, it, trust me, they want to see the learning process. They want to they see you, <sighs> okay. you know... Yeah. I'll tell you, I got a trick. Mm-hmm. After this, yeah. I got a trick that we're going to figure out how to make this work. What's that? So just power through, finish the monologue up, and then we'll get you, we'll get you going okay. again, and then we'll take another shot of the monologue. Okay. All we'll right. write it on the fly. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So today, so today on the Adam Friedland Show, we discuss spite. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing? Oh, there was an ellipse. No, it's absolutely dot, 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 nothing? I think the, the ellipse is after the nothing. Oh, yeah, it is. I, absolutely I nothing? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the way we ended yeah. the last one. The theme of the last so, one was war. Yeah, and then it said, what is it good for? War, Absolutely spite. Absolutely nothing. Nothing? Oh, yeah, question okay. mark. So today on the Adam Fr- Freeland Show, the theme is spite. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, y- okay. you know, you're, you're upset about... No, well, I just... Of, it's my bad, dude. No, it's all right. The it's writing wasn't bad. there. That's fine, but... No, it's uh, not about the writing, dude. It's just... It's, it's embarrassing to fumble through these monologues, and this is something we, we want to institute on the new, did the you, new show. Do you want to start writing the monologues? I mean, I can... I can yeah, we can write the, You know, I can write them. I can send them to you. You can punch them yeah, up. Yeah, I thought... Yeah, I didn't know you... I thought you didn't want to be doing anything other than just uh, on-camera stuff. No, I mean, this is, I, I, this is a collaborative experience. Okay, you know, yeah, I sure. Coll- yeah, I want to collab. Yeah, definitely, yeah. If you want to write the monologues, yeah, we'll... we'll okay, I want to we'll collab. Board you. I'll, I want to collab. Yeah, I, I think it's... collab. I think it's one of the Indian holidays, so most of the, you know, the room is out for the next... I know. Um, I know. You know, I mean, they rented an elephant, so they're mm-hmm. going to be... They're going to be busy. Yeah, but they'll be back to work. Yeah, they'll be back to work. We'll so, but back. So, to get you more comfortable, yeah, yeah. Uh, we need to just, this needs to feel natural to you. Yeah. So why don't you, why don't you give us a little bit of your stand-up? I don't want to do, I don't want to do stand-up I, right now. I don't want to do stand-up right now for think, an empty room and you are just one man's looking. No, I don't want to do that. I think that's, I don't, it's I embarrassing. Th- I think it's not only, I don't, I don't want to do not that. Not only what the audience wants. I don't want to do that right now. It's what you want. No, it's, it's not you. what I want here. right now. I'm trying to point to your heart, but yeah. I don't want to. It's right here. It's no, here. Stop, stop it. That's where it that's is. That's not what I want to do right now. No, I just, I want to d- do what the show is, you know, so. This is an exercise, dude. Yeah. It's, it's honestly, but we're not going to burn any material. I know mm-hmm. you're on the road a lot. You're working on new stuff. Mm-hmm. We're not going to do I any of been on the road since February. Well, you're going, you're going out, and you're going to do, you're going to want to be the best comic. You know, yeah, that's a different everyone's seen. You're going to release the best, the best YouTube special anyone's ever seen. I thought we were going to It's going to get two points, let's say nine million views, and everyone's going to love it. So don't worry about the new material. Let's do some of the older stuff. Here's, this is what I need to practice, folks. I need to get better at fake laughter. Not that I'll be laughing fakely, mm-hmm. but I've seen your act, so I'm familiar with the jokes. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason I wouldn't be laughing. Mm-hmm. But I need to practice fake laughter because that is my job as a mm-hmm. producer. I shouldn't be letting you sit here and you struggle through this monologue okay. because I know I've seen it all. It was all really a struggle. So I need yeah. to, that's, that's something just, I, I hadn't read through it yet. Your hands look kind of swollen. Have you been using heroin? No. For why, years? Why is it swollen? Oh, I don't know. Why'd you point out my hands? You know that I have an insecurity. I don't know. They look ed, like edematic, maybe. What do you mean edematic? Like ed, 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 edematous. What does that mean? Like there's an edema. Like you have an edema and they look like they're filled with fluid. Oh, I have not been using heroin. 
Thank you. Okay, i just unless you've been giving it to me in those pills. No, I think it's only from 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 using intravenous drugs for years. No, pills I, just keep you sharp. I don't. Everybody shoot, takes them. I don't shoot up. Okay. okay. All right. I'm just right. asking. So let's go, let's up. do some of your. Why don't you? How about this? We'll figure a bit out for you. We'll write you a new hour mm-hmm. right now. Okay. And then and then don't even think about it in terms of monologue or top of the show. You're just doing stand-up. Okay. So what's something that's happened this week in your life that you want to kind of Seinfeld out? Hmm. Um, I've been uh, been getting into washing my hands with cold water. <laughs> yeah. How's that? Is that good? I don't know. It's maybe a little condescending. But <laughs> it seems condescending. You're going like this too. Oh, yeah. yeah. How do um... I don't know how to fake laugh. <laughs> That's good. Here we go. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cold water. Yeah, cold water. <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah. Come on. Why? Like my whole life, I've been washing my hands with uh, hot water. Hot water. It feels yeah. like you're cleaning better. Sure. But uh, in this heat, uh-huh. um, I read that. Now I'm bringing up my hands again. It's all, it's the opposites. What is it? I, I was washing my hands. When it's cold out, I'm washing my hands with warm water. When it's hot out, I'm washing with cold, cold water. water. What the hell is it? Yeah. Opposite day? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> How's that? That's good, right? Yeah. Don't you feel more comfortable now? Uh, not really. No. No. <sighs> uh, this is Next bit. Breathable. What's the next one? Sure. Get some buttons breathing. open. Just come. I'm just, I'm op- opening it. No, Here, it's I'll open. It's open. Um, what's the next thing that's going on in your life? So, what's the premise with the cold, the the, sh- the kitchen sink, the washing your hands? Um, well, the premise is yeah, it's that that now that it's hot outside, yeah, I I prefer uh, washing my hands with cold water. Sure. Yeah, and when it's cold outside, it feels better washing your hands with hot water. Right. And there's a sign. You don't have to open up the. I hole. got it. Don't worry about it. I'm doing my job. Okay. So what, what is the premise? What is the actual joke? Is it that you're just washing your hands with cold water? Mm-hmm. And that's relatable to people? Well, yeah, it's relatable with this heat, I think. Because it's hot out. Yeah, yeah it feels like... You know, I don't you know about fe- the whole shirt. You know what it feels like is like, uh, you know, you don't, why the fuck, the world, why are we washing our hands? I guess we should mind the curse words. Why the hell are we washing our hands with fucking uh, hot water in the goddamn summer? Yeah. You, what is he? What are you gonna do? It's dead of winter. You're eating fucking ice cream. That's 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 yeah. That's what yeah. I was getting at. Yeah. Let me ask you this: How the fuck do Eskimos wash their hands? Mm-hmm. What with just cold water? Why don't yeah. you drop the whole thing? How about like they yeah. got to be the dirtiest motherfuckers on earth? Exactly. Do you yeah. think they're boiling a pot of water every time mm-hmm. they take a shit? Fuck no. Mm-hmm. They're wiping with a dead fish and going right back in the the ice hut. What do they call it? An igloo. Yeah. An igloo. Why, why is that the one word we know of Eskimo? We just found out what the house is. The, yeah. We don't got names for any other shit. What, a, like what the, other the, shit? The, the fucking, the, the, whatever, the John Smith of the Arctic showed up to the Eskimos, and mm-hmm. he's like, hey, I guess yeah, we'll do a diplomatic thing for yeah. five minutes. What do you call that thing? Mm-hmm. Well, igloo. All right, cool. Well, give us your women. Did, they, did we steal their women? For sure. Mm-hmm. Get that fucking, that hot blubber pussy. Because mm-hmm. you know they got the hottest pussies, probably. Eskimos. Yeah, they got it, warm. dude. That's got to be five. That's probably where they wash their hands. Mm-hmm. Well, it's that, and then the, they all fuck the same women and yeah. say that that you makes go them hunting, brothers. And then you, you, you yeah. eviscerate a fucking sea lion mm-hmm. in the middle of your igloo, and yeah. then you, before you eat, you wash your hands in your wife's hot pussy. In your hot, yeah, hot pussy. And then your friend... Her antibacterial pussy. And then your friend sleeps with her. Yeah. And then they're like, now we're brothers. Now we're brothers. Yeah. How do they know in Eskimo mm-hmm. world the difference between regular brother and guy that fucked the same hot pussy to Eskimo? Mm. Um, Imagine you're on stage. You have the same you're on parents? stage in front of an audience. You're on tour. You're in the, that's Adam Friedland show tour. This isn't kind of, yeah. 2023. All right, yeah. Someone you're asked that. You're on stage. Yeah, doesn't... they're like, yeah, how do they know? How do the Eskimos know? And mm-hmm. you're a professional comedian. You have to answer the question. Mm, I guess um, siblings would have the same parents. That's true. But that's not, that's just like sort of an accurate answer rather than being like a joke thing. Yeah. Um, how you could say something like, "How do you know? How do you know when to stop f- f- 
fucking jacking off because you, your body produces no cum, sir. Oh, you have to go back at them. Yeah, you imagine these a Like a crowd work. Yeah, because that's the big thing now is these crowd work videos. <laughs> yeah, they're we're gonna crazy to get for you. Them. We're going to get you some cool shoes. We're going to get you some cool shoes to yeah. wear. <laughs> We're gonna get you cool shoes, and mm-hmm. we're gonna get you a TikTok account. <laughs> you could be, be a guy with cool shoes yeah. that does crowd work. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that would sell. It's yeah. gonna do well, dude. Because you got a lot of these guys, a lot of these assholes doing crowd work. <laughs> you don't have, you don't have a lot of them wearing women's shoes. <laughs> 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 you gotta, you gotta a, that's the thing you want to make it a comedy now you gotta have cool shoes <laughs> you gotta have a really because cool we were talking about this there's yeah. you know a lot, a lot of these comics they're yeah. like what kicks what yeah. kicks are you wearing you gotta wear you gotta wear a not tight, a lot of them are like, like bro i'm wearing women you need a baggy shirt yeah. tight ass fucking pants yeah. cool shoes yeah yeah and then you just do crap with rips work. with yeah. a lot of rips on them yeah and i tell you there's nothing spiteful about that mm-hmm. there's no there's nothing spiteful then than spending two hundred dollars on dumb shoes to you spent two hundred dollars. Yeah, it makes from the show. Make fun of TikTok comedy, but yeah, yeah. yeah. whatever. I All kept right. the receipt. No, yeah, I kept the receipt. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be. I'll be returning the receipt keepers. Yeah, yeah. So I guess it's not that spiteful if you keep the receipts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's not. We're just bringing different looks to the audience right now. Yeah, yeah. and it's kind of like, you know, I'm on. Mm. You're over here, you know. Right. Normally, when we've we've been doing this six years, we're like huddled. Yeah. It's kind of a weird uh-huh. dynamic. If I seem awkward right now, I'm kind of getting used to. Well, it. there's going to be video. Everybody, see. If you want the video, you're going to have to go to Patreon.com for this slash Comtown for this one. And that's not because we're being dickheads in terms of like what's free and what's not free. Even though you will get the audio of mm-hmm. this for free, it's because I we got a fucking strike against us immediately on youtube on youtube the yeah. first adam friedland show episode we put on there it yeah. got like content striked for something and yeah well you were saying that the, that the virus but then p- other people take it and they just re-upload it and they don't have an issue so somebody like at youtube i guess has a problem with adam friedland mm-hmm. uh but uh, until i like until i know what's going on with youtube because once you get three strikes you're fucking done so yeah. i don't want to get a second one before we can even get this thing off the ground so for now, maybe we start a new channel, start off, yeah, clean, clean slate, zero strikes. Right. For now, you want the video to this, you're gonna have to. It's gonna uh, have to be on. It's Patreon. gonna have to be on Patreon. But when we have the setup, we reveal the actual show. This mm-hmm. is the camera test. Yeah. Then we will be, we will be uh, switching over to YouTube. Yeah. To a free model. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll we'll make sure to put the Go Bananas logo. Just the stage <laughs> up here for this whole thing. Really? And then we'll call this the Adam Freeland Crowd Work Hour. Live from Cincinnati. Yeah, this is going to be a, a spiteful crowd work show. Mm-hmm. But this time with a role reversal, we're now the audience. It's doing the crowd t- work again. The audience has the tight pants and the cool mm-hmm. shoes. Yeah, comedian destroyed. <laughs> comedian destroyed by a guy wearing really cool clothes. <laughs> by a man wearing bike shorts and women's <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get all this shit, huh? Where'd you get the with nice clothes? You Thank certainly you. didn't buy them where I bought my clothes. I bought them at a H and M. Where'd you get that? At the dumpster outside of the Salvation Army? No, I bought where this. Where people throw stuff out. This is the Biggie Smalls line. This guy looks like a finance guy and a computer programmer. Fucking, they went. They went to San Francisco together, and they said, "Give me the. Let's just let's just have a baby, dude." This guy's like a mashup between... Uh, and then everyone was laughing at me. Oh, uh, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Mm-hmm. Come okay. on, what do you, don't laugh at him. You're paying to see yeah, me. Yeah. Are you here with your girlfriend? No, my girlfriend's at home. I'm- ah! <laughs> this guy's here alone? Are you kidding me? I mean, here. You came to your own... Traveling com- to do you comedy. You came to your own comedy show alone? Well, I wouldn't bring my girlfriend. I mean, like... This isn't really what our relationship is about. Yeah. She just, we just live together and 
share our lives outside of this together. Very much so. So what's going on? What's uh, the movie review corner? This is Adam's movie review. Mm-hmm. I just saw. Um, I just saw Nope. Oh, did you? Did you for yeah, real? I saw Nope. What? Uh, how was it? Tell me about it. Tell me about Nope because I don't understand what the movie's about. It's bad. I saw Get Out, mm-hmm. and so now I think every movie that comes out is like it's Ghostbusters, but about how fucking black people can't get a mm-hmm. damn job. Is that um, the premise? Engage with me. Tell me. No, no, no I yeah. don't think. Yeah. Well, so tell think me he what has the movie. a job. It's about uh, black cowboys. It's black cowboys. They live in the inland, race? inland California. One of the cowboys is George Floyd or something. It's always, there's no, always a... Uh, no. The, no, I think like it was a, more of a metaphor about uh, technology. It was a metaphor about technology, yeah, but black I, technology. So it's like well, it's black, just black people. And it was just black Bluetooth <laughs> headsets. <laughs> black very. <laughs> but <laughs> well, you know what I mean. No, I think, okay, listen. Folks, yeah. Um, no, yeah, okay, so the, the film is premised that there's a guy that him and his father run mm-hmm. a horse business have for any Hollywood. The, have any of their favorite technologies, like, lasted the test of time? Well, the Cadillac and, El Dorado? And, well, I was going to say 8-tracks, mm-hmm. Bluetooth headsets, mm-hmm. BlackBerry extinct, phones. Extinct, extinct. I mean, I they're guess all gone. It's not like they were. It's not like they were like. I love Steve Jobs. Like they weren't. You know, they weren't full right. on with the Apple. Bluetooth stuff. technology <sighs> has been just incorporated in, into white technology. Yeah, but I mean, there's, mm-hmm. you know, I guess it's the been, AirPods are the AirPods are just Bluetooth headsets for white people. Right, and so we're like Bose head. You know, whatever. Yeah, but yeah. nobody walks around with a set of Bose fucking circumoral headphones on taking a phone call. I have. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Talk That's to my insane. Dad on you it. just look like an air traffic controller. Yeah, I just walk my dog, take a phone call. Yeah. I'm listening to music, get a phone call. Yeah. Like that. I yeah. saw a guy with like the like a older black gentleman with the the like the McDonald's drive through mm-hmm. headset. Yeah, Janet Jackson. Yeah. The fucking yeah. like the Logitech <laughs> you know, like yeah. playing free computer games yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the EverQuest two uh-huh. yeah. you know, headset yeah. walking around having a conversation. And playing modern warfare. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like who the fuck is he talking to? It's yeah, got to be just yeah. another guy with one of those headsets. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably piped into it. He probably figured out a way to like dial into his drive through job. And he's, oh. like, he's like, bro, I don't even got to show up at the McDonald's anymore. He's just taking orders. Yeah. Taking orders. That's a smart guy. Yeah, That's a like, smart man. Please move on down to window number two. And he can just go about his life. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. So Nope is about these this this guy and his father. Uh-huh. They run a, a horse. They like r- they run an animal thing for Hollywood. Uh-huh. So they're like horse trainers, and they bring horses in for production. Yeah. And then uh, his father dies mysteriously. Uh huh. There's like a key that like uh, there are a bunch of like whatever a bunch of shit falls to the ground and uh, kills his father. It's like, uh-huh. where is it coming from? And then uh, what they realize is, like, over this valley that they live in central, okay. like, inland let's, California. Let's, let's, I'm gonna, you don't have to redo it, but yeah. at a certain point, we're going to have... Jordan Peele's going to come on the show. Yeah. Oh, I, well, then I like that movie. Yeah. And uh, you need to set... We're going to play a clip from the movie, mm-hmm. and you're going to have to set it up. Let's, can we get Adam surrounded by... Steven, can we get Adam surrounded by black people for this section? I don't know about that. We're going to have okay. Jordan Peele on the show. So you need to imagine this is his audience. It's not his audience. Everyone likes uh, Get Out. Ad, uh, Steven, can we get black and white people surrounding Adam? All types of people. Yeah. Chinese. Just get a fucking... Get a, a, kind of a United Nations kind of yeah, uh, yeah. general assembly kind of... Sure. Get yeah. a fucking Apple commercial. Put it on behind him. The point is is that mm-hmm. we're going to have Jordan Peele on. He's sitting where I'm sitting. Or right. he's sitting over here somewhere. Yeah, but I'm going to get a chair. He's got a chair. beanbag chair or something. Yeah. And I, I, what I want is you're going to you know, set it up like Charlie Rose. Mm-hmm. You know, imagine you're Charlie Rose and you're trying to get people mm-hmm. hyped okay. about. And maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do the voice. Mm-hmm. Maybe, I'm, maybe I feel now my well, should I, I got to be Charlie Rose. Do you have to be Charlie Rose? You have Rose? to be Jordan Peele. Okay, I'll be Jordan Peele. Mm-hmm. Uh, y- yo. Yeah. John Peel, thank you for joining me today. Ain't no damn problem, Playboy. Filmmaker, sketch comedian. Mm-hmm. Uh, Who's on first? One season, one season member of the show Mad TV. John Peel joins. Peele, Kim Peel, much better show, by the way. Very good show. Yeah, very good show. Yeah, yeah. Um, John Peel, 
is releasing the new film, Nope, which is in theaters all over the country. Uh, Jordan, the film uh, speaks to a lot of our uh, modern condition, much like your other pictures. Sure. Is that, is that not correct? Yes, but I think you forgot what the purpose of this exercise was. Oh, is that was. I had to toss the... You had, no, you have to set up the movie in mm-hmm. a way where you're actually excited to talk about it, mm-hmm. not kind of like a, not in like a sort of a lackadaisical way, just describing the movie to me, your friend Nick, who yeah, yeah. doesn't give a fuck what mm-hmm. the movie is about in my personal life. Mm-hmm. I can just go look it up, or I can go see the movie mm-hmm. if I want okay, to. Okay, I'll do it. For the sake of the audience... Yeah. Remember, we're in show business now. Yeah. What do you want a couple get a couple more of these buttons open? Okay. You know, do we need the do we need the do you need the bump of what? Dr- drugs? Yeah. No, I don't oh, want to okay. do drugs. It's well, embarrassing. If you if you need it, it's not the 1980s. Help the show. No, this is this will be funny. This kind of vibe. No. Okay, but we still have an audio. This is primarily an audio format. Folks, I know you're at home mm-hmm. pulling your damn hair out, mm-hmm. saying, just tell us what Nope is about. I know it's not going to be yeah. funny, but tell us what it's about so we can move on to the next failed bit. Yeah. And, and we, can <laughs> we can feel better about burning ourselves out trying to figure out how the cameras work. And how that. to get the... And then go shopping, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I had to go shopping. Okay. My next guest is Jordan Peele, who joins me. He's just released his Let's start. go ahead, and we're going to cut right to the... And I'm not doing Charlie Rose. I'm Charlie Rose's producer. Yeah, my brother. Colonel... Other Charlie. Curly... Cur- the milkman. Curly... Curly Rose. Mm-hmm. It's Charlie and Curly. Mm-hmm. Curly Rose. Curly, curly, it's Curly. C-U-H-L-L-I-E. Curly. Cully. Cully. This is my brother, Cully. And I get pussy. And he gets the pussy. Don't mistake me for some non pussy mm-hmm. getting. Okay. You know why so they call us Cully. Rose? Because <laughs> ain't enough. You can't press the pedals hard that's enough. Yeah. Trying to drive to pussy town where we live. Yeah, that's right. I don't know. The gas pedal. There's okay. two pedals. The gas, that takes you to pussy town. That's where we live. The brakes, that stops. Right. That stops the car. Right. Where you, at your house, uh-huh. at the non pussy getting house. <laughs> But the pet, the rose <laughs> petals, that's the gas. That's how you get to pussy, uh-huh. pussy city by this point. Mm-hmm. Population, Population, every me. bitch you've ever met. And every bitch. I've had her. Mm-hmm. I've, ha- I've, I've had her. I've, yeah. She's been mine mm-hmm. for an evening, sometimes in the afternoon, sometimes breakfast. Yeah. Early, right. What's the earliest you ever fucked a woman? 4.15 a.m. at the well, Greyhound 12, bus depot 12. in Austin, Texas. Well, I guess so, yeah. Homeless woman outside. Technically, 12.01. Right after midnight, I've had sex. That doesn't count. That's still not time. But it's the early, you know, okay, whatever. That's regardless. Um, I'm thinking about getting a manicure after this. I feel like women don't let me put my hands in their bodies anymore because of how dirty my fingers are. Yeah, you should. And I don't know how to clean them. Well, you could get a nail clipper. Just I'm just going to start using nail polish. Now that that's okay... Mm-hmm. I'm doing that. Instead of washing my fucking hands mm-hmm. every time I'm trying to clean them in some Eskimo bitch. Yeah, that's right. She's saying, you got to wash your hands before putting your hands in my pussy. And I said, well, what the fuck do you think I'm trying to do? You're going to use do? a gutted halibut, you know? Yeah. Give me that whale blubber. Give me some I blubber. I got to get in there. Yeah, I need to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for just repeating the exact Yeah, thing. they're repeating that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the same, 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 same exact, same, same, the same, same line. line. Yeah. yeah. Why don't we do this? Why? You can sit right here on my knee and just be a I'm not going to sit on your line. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Maybe uh, one of these days. Okay. <sighs> anyway, so yeah. Uh, oh, my next guest is Jordan Peele, who's releasing his third picture. Jordan nope. Peele, recently out of prison after doing 20 years for murder. I don't know if that's the same guy. <laughs> Maybe that's just a look he has. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He just Jordan seems Peele like a pretty normal guy. Spent 15 years on yeah. death row. No, that's not <laughs> <laughs> Falsely accused mm-hmm. of murdering two little, Jordan Peele. two little white girls. A dead man walking. Dead like. man walking. Falsely accused of murdering two white girls. Let me ask you this. Your mm-hmm. next movie is perhaps going to be Star Trek, but but like a Green Mile element? Yes. Oh, I'm Jordan Peele. Sure. Now you're Jordan Rose. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Charlie. I'm okay. Ch- I'm Cully Rose. You're Jordan Rose. 
This shirt's just not pretty. And I'm good. Charlie Peel. Okay. So I'm Charlie Rose, but I'm a black filmmaker. And I'm Curly Peel. You're Curly Peel. And I'm your brother. And we're brothers, but in the Eskimo sense. We and that's how we got the girl. last name Rose, is because we fucked so many women. Yeah. We've had them. We stole their flowers. Yeah. From virgins. They call me Andy from Toy Story. Why is that? Because every bitch, they have my name tattooed on the bottom of her foot. <laughs> My name is Cully, but all the women, I make them get I thought I was tattoo. Cully. Uh, but I'm, a, I'm, I'm pitching lines to you as Cully. I got you, I got you, I got they you. Say, they say, my name's Cully, but they call me Andy from Toy Story. That's correct. Because every bitch I've had, uh, they'll make them tattoo my I've name. had them all. They all, it's a, they all have Buzz Lightyear <laughs> written on them. <laughs> <laughs> They all got Buzz Lightyear written on the bottom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. What were we talking about? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I don't know. I mean, I hope Stephen can do something with this. Yeah. It's on you now, Stephen. Stephen, we're dying. Stephen, you got to save the Adam Freeland show. Jordan Peele is here. His work on the Comedy Central. You think it'd be cooler if I. No, only I can wear that headphones cool because I got a hat. I got a cool hat that I'm wearing. This? Yeah. I can't really hear you. Maybe. We got to figure out some kind of... We should get little secret service things, the ear things. I was thinking that right before we started. Yeah. With the, with the wire. The little out. pigtail wire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It'd be so cool. We'll wear them around New York City. Mm-hmm. And we can be in the same room together. It'll be just you and me. And I'll say, go for Nick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And then I'll say... Um, what, what do you say? Go for Nick? Yeah. And I say... Uh, Adam, Adam the two. Uh, switching, 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 switching. Go for Adam. Go for Adam. Um, okay. So what were we talking about? So yeah, um, Jordan Peele's movie Nope. Yeah, Jordan. And remember, the theme of the show is spite. I'm I'm doing like a visual thing, so you gotta be you gotta be spiteful in your actions. Okay. Um. Do we have any ads or no? No ads this week. Come on, keep it going. Show business. You're on stage. You're performing mm-hmm. right now. The cameras are supposed to put more pressure on you. I know. I'm I hate to I hate to do a tough love to thing, but you got you got to you got to you got to you got to bring it together here. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Who the fuck is this calling me? Pick it up. I can't. Okay. It's the watch. You never you don't take phone calls on your watch? <clears throat> no, it's fucked up. I got water in there or something. I was taking a an Epsom salt bath and I think I fucked up the microphone. Why did you take the bath? It's good for my legs. It's good for your legs. Yeah. You know, know what else is good for your legs? I, I cycle. These boots. These boots are made for <laughs> fucking. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I tell women. They say, why are you wearing mm-hmm. gay clothes? Yeah. Are you a gay man? Mm-hmm. I said, come here. I'll, pre- I'll show you who's gay. And then mm-hmm. I don't get hard. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yes, it's because you, you're actually, you're busted. <laughs> now give me your, take your shoes off. I'm writing my fucking name on it. I'm writing That's Andy right. on the bottom of your foot. I'm not Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> They call me, you know, they used to call me Sid from Toy Story because mm-hmm. I cut women up and rearrange their body parts. Really? I make a, I made, I'm making a perfect woman in my house. What, what's, the, what's the feet? The feet are from, uh, which, well, uh, ancient foot bonded Chinese. Chinese, tiny. Yeah. Yeah. How small? Uh, well, they, they were kept in their bonsai feet. They kept them in thimbles from when they were an embryo. <laughs> they used wow. chopsticks to insert a thimble into uh-huh. the mother's pussy. Wow. And they encapsulate the feet and in the first trimester. Wow. So when the baby comes out, it's got little thimble feet. Wow. And, and they, they just... They, they just... stay on there. Really? For the, for, until the woman is ready to be fucked at age 12. <laughs> feet come off, delivered to the husband. Bubble yeah. wrap. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. They call me Wikipedia Rose. What kind of legs? Huh? What kind of legs? Yeah. Chopsticks. Chopsticks. Yeah. Chopsticks, embryo feet. Yeah. And then there's just a big sloppy Mississippi torso. Mississippi torso. No, what kind of? But but not, not the even leg? not even so flat chested, but fat that it just looks like another stomach roll. Right. With fat, nipples. but but like not even with, with nipples big tits. on the front. Yeah. yeah. No. Flat yeah. ass. No ass. Hank Hill Hank ass. Hank Hill ass. What yeah. kind of pussy? Eskimo blubber. Just a, our body looking like a cartoon pile of dog <laughs> shit. 
Just like a like you know like a baby like a baby stack of teething <laughs> uh-huh. rings. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's what the body looks like. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's interesting. Um. Okay. And what kind of head? You got like a t- like the brave little toaster. But as a as a girl. But the whole head of the the whole brave little toaster is a head. But she's got like a bow on it or something to no. show that it's a girl. No, no, no. no. It's, but it's re- highly reflective, so you can look into your own eyes while you fuck her. <laughs> Like the brave little toaster. Yeah. Is that what happens? And then at, well, after you come, yeah. bing, toast is ready. Guess what? Right. Guess who's having a nice grilled cheese sandwich? That's right. Me. Uh, yeah. Andy from Toy Story. You can't really make a grilled cheese in a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> you can when it's a fucking Eskimo woman. When it's a <laughs> When you put the cheese in her pussy. When yeah. it's that woman and you got your cheese in there. Oh, to- you put the cheese in her toast pussy. Toast comes out. Comes you out fuck the cheese into her pussy. <laughs> you, you you put the bread that comes out of her brain, uh-huh. and then you stomp on her fucking. That's smart. You stomp on her pussy, and then the the guess who's got a grilled cheese sandwich? Mm-hmm. Um, I guess staying on the theme of spite. Um, yeah. Do you think it's capable, or you're you're capable, or anyone's really capable of um, forgiving and forgetting? Forgiving who? The the person that you're feeling spiteful toward. No, it's his job to apologize first. <laughs> But, like, what if you did something wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just going to continue to take shots by silly wardrobe All right, choices. all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to continue to take very subtle but specific right, let's, shots. Let's use the, uh, the example of the Holocaust, for instance, okay. right? Yeah. yeah. So um, people say never forget, right? Yeah. But is it possible to forgive? Forgive? Yeah. Hitler? Yeah, or the country, Germany. It's do still you, a country. Do you forgive Hitler? I mean, he's not really around, so I don't have a chance to forgive him. I see what you're saying, though, because, like, sometimes now when these, like, the Nazi hunters are like, we found another one, and it's, like, a fucking 105-year-old guy. It's like, bro, chill. He's a corpse, yeah. Chill. You're still mad about the Holocaust? I don't know about that. I mean, I think you have to, you you can't forget, right? Yeah. So that that's like that's so what I was what, driving man. at, right? So if you if you you can forgive, what you're but some you guy, don't necessarily have to forget. You're some guy. And that maybe fucking, if you forget, it's a bad they thing. They clean the bathrooms at Auschwitz, mm-hmm. and like you got out. You you know, mm-hmm. you're living your life now. This mother, if you have an iPhone, you mm-hmm. shouldn't be going to jail for doing the Holocaust. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? What if he was the Joseph Mengele of Holocaust he janitors? They got all of those guys. What if he's the worst every janitor? Time, every time they find one of these guys, what if he's the Holocaust of janitors? What, what if he's saying? the Mengele of janitors? Yeah. Yeah. You think they what had if any he... people with Down syndrome that worked at, in the Holocaust? No, they put them in the camps, dude. I think that's a myth. They put mentally retarded people in the camps, I for sure. I don't believe that, dude. I don't like... They put homosexuals, gypsies, Jews, political dissidents, and all mentally of the ones, handicapped all people. All of the ones except... Like, I can't imagine, like, even Nazis, when they're like, they're like, oh, get in the train, and the guy being like, okay, here mm-hmm. we go. You know, yeah. like, and them not being like, okay, this is too far. This yeah. is wrong. yeah. Because right. you know, how is that your like political enemy? You're blaming that guy for the fucking post World War One economy. You mm-hmm. think it's his fault? That's no, why that's Germany, not what it was all about. That's why Germany is is fucking having trouble. No, it it's was because he, oh what he ate too many cookies. No, and it's about the eugenics. Rates. It's about eugenics. It's about cleansing the cleansing the fatherland. How about just of all uh, imperfect non areas? How about just look? We're gonna kill all the ethnically unclean people, but ladies. I know you're not going to do it, but don't fuck that guy and have a kid with him. <laughs> you know, like I, mm-hmm. I don't think that does, it doesn't make right, sense. Right, and it is kind of the That's same logic. Gonna... It's the same logic of that sketch that you wrote about the guy who sees his infant come out as mentally handicapped and then thinks that that man, that his wife has been cheating, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you, if you put a mentally handicapped person in a camp, mm-hmm. you're not cleansing people from having that recessive uh, gene or whatever uh, yeah. that causes men- mental retardation. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Exactly. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So you think that the Nazis would have never put... No. I think those guys didn't even know World War II was happening. Mm-hmm. I think they were just... They were put the, in, like, the, the the theater next to the one from Inglorious Bastards, mm-hmm. and they put on fucking Cars 2, <laughs> and they just sat in there, and they're like, Ah, oh, this time, when they're, they're having, they're having, they're they're having fun, yeah. Born in the fun, and then the how to show Yeah. Or they were doing janitorial services at Auschwitz. And, yeah, at Auschwitz. I think that they had the prisoners doing that. Yeah? Yeah. That's got to suck to be the Auschwitz guy that's got to clean the toilets. Yeah, also. but you get like maybe an extra food ration or something. Mm-hmm. 
you're, you're, I think that's like a a means of uh, a trustee. Know, yeah, of, of of collaborating a little bit. Yeah, if you if you know what I mean. Yeah. You know? Are you getting looser? You feel better on camera? I mean, I'm just standing here the whole time is not what the show is going to be. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. We're, I'm going to stand here. I'm going to do the monologue that I've read yeah. before. Yeah. You know, I'm going to say it professionally. I'm glad to hear that you want to you want to write the monologue. For that I don't want to write the monologue. I want to collabo on the monologue. You uh, know. Okay. Well, I mean, I've asked you for weeks on end. It's like you know, if you have if there's topics or something you want to talk about. We can right? agree on a show topic and then we can like write something in the same room. Yeah. Just give so me that a, I'm familiar give me, with what the me, copy let is. Let me know how you want not so that you airdrop it to me on my phone or I have to read it off the notes app. Let me know how. You well look. I tell you, Friday Verizon is going to be here. Mm-hmm. They're going to we're going to have the internet. internet. Yeah, I'll get the printer in here. Mm-hmm. We'll be able to print it out. I'll get. I'll bring. I got a monitor. We'll, we'll set get a, a TV. monitor up. Yeah, we'll set. We'll get the whole we'll fucking TVs thing every on. wall. We blew like cribs. We got to wait until the payout this month. Blew through all the money on wardrobe. Yeah, and I know. cameras. I know. So yeah. we get the printer. You can have the monologue. Next month, lighting set, lighting set. Month after that, crew to operate all this shit mm-hmm. so that you know we can actually do the show. And hopefully, the timeline will be a little bit compressed. The timeline will be compressed. I, I, will, I don't think it'll be three months. Gonna, I think it's going to be. I'm going to have to go out of town. I'll be in, in Irvine, California. Yeah, you and I'll tell you what, that. folks. You if you're desperate for the show to get back on track, where me and Adam can just work on creative stuff, I can hire the right people and just focus on producing the show. Go to patreoncom slash Come down for now and sign up mm-hmm. for five dollars. I also got to pull. I got to pull all the people at the higher tiers. You get your name in the credits. Yes, so I got to pull those lists and send them over to Steven. The executive producers. I got to send them over to Steven so he. Do we get a lot of con- conversion over that? I have no idea. I haven't even yeah. checked. And then half of them we can't include because their name is like Hank, like Hank, mm-hmm. or Jeremy. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Or some stupid joke from the old or like, show. Yeah. yeah. Or Steven... Igor sucks dig off or yeah. something. Yeah. Steven Franklin Mint employee. Also, I'm a... <laughs> by the way. <laughs> That's one of the guys. Yeah. 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 John Jacob Jingle <laughs> Schmidt. Yeah. Adam's, <laughs> Adam's boyfriend. John Jacob... <laughs> <laughs> Jingle <laughs> Schmidt. <laughs> what yeah. did you just say his yeah. name was? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's my name too. Yeah. yeah. Can that'd you be imagine? Weird. That would be a weird name. Can you now. imagine? This is a new stand up. You're sitting that's that's funny. Mm. Yeah. Can Should you I imagine try that if you met a guy named John Jacob <laughs> Heimer Schmidt? <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, What's your name? And then yeah. the guy's like, I'm sorry, is your name John Jacob <laughs> Heimer mm-hmm. Schmidt? Because mm-hmm. my name is also John Jacob <laughs> Heimer Schmidt. Mm-hmm. We're g I guess we're just a couple of <laughs> Heimer Schmidts. <laughs> Or are you of the Philadelphia Heimer Schmitz? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. My, uh, what grand- is that? Is that German or African? <laughs> 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 you know, it, it's actually neither. At Ellis Island, they, uh, my yeah. grandfather was being incredibly annoying. Yeah. And they, <laughs> they made him that. Yeah. yeah. My grandfather's name was Bob Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even a hard <laughs> foreign style name to say. Franz Heimer Schmidt. Because he kept trying to cut the line. Yeah. And he got shithead changed to Schmidt. Yeah. But the courts wouldn't let yeah, him really change the rest of the name. Every judge was the just DMV, dying to laugh. The DMV. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know if we can we can accept this this this. What is it called? Like a poll of. What is it called? The legal process to change your name? I don't know. Like you petition. Yeah, petition the like poll. Yeah. The I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. The poll of the register. Uh-huh. You you're unfortunately going to have to remain as friends. <laughs> Jingle face shithead. <laughs> Schmidt. <laughs> Schmidt. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll change the last one Due to Schmidt. Your Ellis Island insolence. <laughs> Anytime I think about Ellis Island, I imagine just like. A big, like, open prison, mm-hmm. but then with all the little shops from the Staten Island Ferry. Yeah, like so a like place to get a beer. And, yeah, yeah, like a fucking yeah. A yeah. pan quotidian, all the French... Uh, the French, French sandwich places. places? Yeah. yeah. Oh, are you tired? No. You sleepy? No. Yeah, no, no, no. It's already 5 o'clock. We've been here since noon, so... Oh, no, we've been here earlier than that. Yeah? Yeah. We got in this morning. Did we? Yeah, I meant you a BNH. What do you want to do? You want to get dinner after this? I can get dinner after this. Let's get, let's just for the fans. Mm-hmm. And I know you're tired. 
I'm not tired. We can keep going. You're sleeping. I mean, it's just weird that you're sitting right now. You're wearing women's shoes. I'm standing up right now on a mark right now in front of this green screen. You know, I assume that the structure of the show is that I get to deliver a monologue. Uh-huh. The audience. Uh, that's why we need, we, need, uh, we need camera operators so yeah. that you can sit down and it won't, you know, you're not going to be. Because these are set up. Everything's locked. I know. So we're going to have to. Maybe we can pause. and I, can just I don't know how to pause. We don't, like, we're hoping these things record. Last time the video. We keep running off. it. Well, yeah. we got new cameras for this episode. Yeah, but you know how it goes. Yeah. I know. Are the red lights still on? Yeah, they're both still on. Oh, okay. Well, what do, what do you know? What do you say? What do you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, here's... Uh, Is there any way with the green screen we can make it look like I'm jacking off uh, Captain Picard onto his face? No? Okay. I mean, we don't know yet. We, we don't yeah. know what it's going to look hey, like. Hey, everybody. We're live on Star Trek. Okay. Are you a big fan of Star Trek? You like Star Trek? I wouldn't say big fan. They're, I mean, the guys that are big fans are big fans, you know. So. Yeah. But I'm Losers. familiar. No, Absolute you're you're a big fan. No, I don't. Yeah, no, you are. No, yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. What am I a big fan of? Star, Star Trek. No. I'm a big fan of space. Star Trek happens to be a part of space. You know why I like space? Yeah. Because it it reminds me of the possibilities. Yeah, it's true. You know? Yeah. All right, what's going on? Why are you so sleepy? I just yawned, man. Well, what are you sleepy about? I'm not sleepy about this show. Tell us about the movie Nope. Let's let's try to get... Let's just get through Nope. All right, all right. Let's get it. And then you can go home and take a nap. I don't want to go home and take a nap. I just... It was a natural reflex. We don't have any seat. We have three folding chairs right now. We don't have anywhere to sit. I'll go... My girlfriend's mom is offering us a sofa couch that we can sit... That we can use. I'll go out right now and I'll get a fucking... A little, like, doggy bed or something. You can take a nap. I don't want to sleep on a doggy bed. I'll brush this over. I'll down... I gotta get this down to Steven. You can start cleaning this up, salvage what we, we can. We need to salvage it, yeah. 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 It needs to be salvaged? No, I mean, like, it's going to take some editing. Yeah. yeah. We'll cut this down to 12 minutes. Yeah. We'll, we'll do a 12-minute we'll episode. Get, yeah, we'll get something that Our works. first. Our yeah. first 12-minute episode. Yeah. And then, you know, you can take your nap, and then we don't have to worry about it. Okay. So tell us about the movie Nope. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll swing the bat here. Maybe we can get something out of this. Nope. Okay, so Nope is a... Leslie Nope. That's yeah. kind of the opposite, right? So Karen, white lady. Kind of a Karen, no, white, white lady. White lady that's the yeah. boss. That's right. This How about is... Leslie Nope, but it's N-O-P-E? She's like, I ain't coming to work today. Isn't that what it's spelled like? No, it's K-N-O-P. Oh, I never read her name. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's, that'd be funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not about her. It's not. That's why I went to go see it, of mm-hmm. course, was because I thought it was the Parks and Recreation movie that we've been promised for mm-hmm. so long, but it's not. Um, it's, it's, yeah, so it's about black cowboys yeah. that raise horses to be in Hollywood pictures. So it's sort of like a down low, broke back mountain. No, down there's, low no mountain. Homo, there's no homosexuality. There's about, no, actually, I don't think there's any mountain. romance in why it. Wasn't it. Why wasn't down low mountain happen? Down low mountain. back mountain. Down low yellow down yellow Down slope. low yellow. Yeah. That sure. that could be good. Yeah. yeah. Down low bro- down low mountain. Down low mountain. Down low winds. But mountains aren't low. Mountains are high. Okay, but you understand the premise of down I understand, low yeah. Maybe it could be like black broke back, it could be down low valley. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but uh, white people Bro- are broke back steakhouse. That's good. It's no rules, just gay. Just gay. <laughs> no rules except one be gay. <laughs> just be gay. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, Outback Mountain. It's Outback two gay Mountain. Australian guys. Yeah, yeah, okay. And it's it. a restaurant. Yeah, okay. Out, out, outbreak. Outbreak Mountain. Outbreak Mountain. And it's monkeypox. And it's, well, it's, yeah, it's gay yeah. guys getting gay guys AIDS getting in the mountains. AIDS and monkeypox. Yeah. Yeah. Brokeback Mountain, they should call it Outbreak Mountain. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Damn, anyway. I need to lasso up my T-cells because they're all wandering off the fucking, yes. the range. What's that one? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, so it's this, it's this guy and his father, they run a horse farm mm-hmm. for Hollywood. They're both black cowboys. Yeah. And his father dies tragically, and he uh, basically, through lack of his own charisma and a horse getting spooked 
um, loses his uh, like contacts in Hollywood, and he's forced basically to just start selling off his horses to a local uh, like Old West simulated town. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, also, in the beginning of the movie, they. But have again, can you can you pitch the movie again as if yeah. you're talking to an audience? Yeah. And you're trying to sell the movie like, you know, like fucking like Charlie Rose does, or yeah. or, or uh, you know, what do you got going on, on your phone there? No, nothing, nothing. Yeah. No, this we'll cut this. No, we won't. What do you mean? What do you mean we'll cut it? Okay, I'll tell you, folks. Nope no, is no, no, a no. Mo- what? Okay, could do it. Yeah, folks. Nope is a movie by director Jordan Peele about. Gay black cowboys They're from Australia, gay. who yeah. have created a a simulated town mm-hmm. in the mountains where gay sex is seen as straight sex. Yes, and it's called Outbra- and it's, Outback Outbreak Steakhouse. And it's called Who Ate All the Damn Pussy? <laughs> not me. Correct. In parentheses, not me. Yeah. Directed right. by Jordan Peele, ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Peele. He's like, thank you, Charlie. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you, thank Charlie. you, Charlie. That's actually not what the movie's about. Well, pardon me, Mr. Black Man. No, I don't think Charlie Rose would say that either. No. Yeah, yeah. No, he'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, did you come here just directly from the prison? Yeah, yeah. Are you from here from prison is where you're from? No, he's like, I've never been to prison. Actually, I'm a sketch comedian turned horror Can we get, you know, who, you know who I play pool with every Sunday after yeah. church? The warden. Maybe he'd like to, maybe he'd like to violate... You all the I don't way know, back to I don't know what you're talking about because I've never been to prison. Yeah. I'm a, an actor and a filmmaker. Sure, but Charlie Rose doesn't know that. Yeah, well, he should know that. He should do his research before he has a damn mo- guest on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, that's Is pretty that, good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's how Tucker laughs. Does he? Yeah, he does. <laughs> he does laugh like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, is, um, that, is that how a normal person laughs? Um, if you're Nancy Pelosi's husband, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that's pretty funny. What happened with him? He got like a DUI. I think he just does insider trading every week. No, he got a DUI also. Did he? I saw that on Sean Hannity. How old is Sometimes he? Sometimes you, if you watch Tucker long enough, you start watching Sean Hannity. Well, it comes on after. Yeah. yeah. And Sean Hannity after Tucker, it's like, it's like having... Tucker's like having like a... You know, like a disgusting meal that tasted good. Yeah. You know, it's like like getting like country fried steak or something. Mm-hmm. Just something egregious. Yeah. Where you're like, oh man, I can't believe I did this. Nasty. Like, that was perk. nasty. Yeah. yeah it like, sounded good in my head. Yeah. 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 Like gnocchi. Like something really gnocchi. rich and yeah, just yeah. fucking gnocchi is nasty. And I've then, never had good gnocchi. And then Sean Hannity yeah. comes on and it's like, and here's dessert and it's like a fucking snack well cookie. Yeah. Or something that just sucks dick. Something that's like no. <laughs> Yeah. No place being called dessert. Right. Every yeah. time Tucker ends and that little fucking, that little fat little worm chode man is like, thanks, Tucker. Yeah. Tonight, Donald Trump. And he's just still sucking Trump's dick. Yeah. Every no, but I thought Fox News is pivoting away from Trump. Not Sean Hannity. Not he's like, Hannity I, and he's not like, Tucker. He's like, I've seen Trump's body. It's a perfect body. He's His like, penis is huge. He's like in love with him still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah and then sticks. Tucker goes hard. He's like, yeah. These vaccines don't fucking work. They're killing you. They're killing yeah. your children. Yeah. And then they go to Sean Hannity. And they have tampons like, in the men's room well, now. Nancy Pelosi's husband ran a stop sign. I can't do that. Yeah. Let's bring, on, let's bring on the CEO of Pfizer to say why that's bad. Does he do that? Yeah. He's like, Tucker's the only anti-vaccine guy. Oh, Hannity's pro-vax. Yeah, Hannity's just, Hannity just loves Donald Trump. That's his only like, political position is that mm-hmm. he's in love with Donald Trump. Yeah, and he has. He's he hates in love with Democrats. Donald Trump the way the fucking the guy in Beauty and the Beast loves Gaston, mm-hmm. like that little fucking. Mm-hmm. No one. They sound the same too. <laughs> <laughs> they have the same voice. Gaston's boyfriend. No yeah. one fights like Donald Trump. No one dances like Donald Trump. <laughs> no one rubs my little head like Donald Trump. Yes. Yeah. That's Hannity. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. What were we talking about? I, I was talking nope. about Sean Hannity. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You're still, you must stand So, up. basically, what it is is that there's an alien above them, mm-hmm. and the alien will only kill you if you look at the alien. Mm-hmm. And it's a heavy handed metaphor for if you look, how looking at your screens is killing you. That's what I've decided the movie is about. I'm not sure if that's what it really is about, but it seems like that's what he's trying to say. 
Yeah. And by the end of it, I was like, that's, that's pretty, that's a lame-ass movie. That's awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Ian? Did that seem, oh, no, I was just trying to be authentic yeah, or yeah. genuine. No, I mean, you think it's awesome. That's that I, awesome, man. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that, how do people laugh? I don't know. My <laughs> laugh sounds terrible. People don't like it. I'm like, <laughs> sound like that kind of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Oh, 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 uh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 Well, we got to, we got to, <laughs> one of us is going to have to laugh on the show. It's your, it's your job to say the jokes, my job to laugh. So I got to learn. I'm going to have to practice laughing. Yeah. So um, maybe that'll be this weekend at patreon.com slash come town. This is probably the last one I have time to do before I hit the road. What are you going? Well, I mean, before I'll be kind of... Well, no, I'll be in town. I forgot. We moved the schedule to Mondays and Wednesdays. I'll yes. be in Irvine, California. Yes. But I got to buy those plane tickets. I also okay. got to sell the tickets to the fucking show. You're, but you're there in two weeks. I am there in two weeks, yeah. From today. So yeah. we got two weeks. It's a huge room. It a is. huge room, and if you don't sell the tickets, it's like that's like the end with the improvs. Yeah. So if the tickets don't move, it's like, well, there goes comedy. Mm-hmm. There goes doing stand up. Well, you're producing the show. It's doing very well. That's fine, dude. Honestly, it's like that would sort of be kind of like a blessing in disguise. Because mm-hmm. then I could focus on this 100%. Yeah. Which I tell you, this is the only thing making me happy anymore. Look at me. You look great. You're wearing you think I, bike you th- shorts and women's shoes. <laughs> Do you think I would have done this for Comtown? No way. Never. No way. Yeah. No way. Never. That was, it was sapping or slog. Livelihood. An absolute slog. Livelihood. Look, life, we can have a we can force. have we can have a, a shit episode of this, and I'm still fully on board. I, I still feel you. it needs to pop. This is you know what I like about this show mm-hmm. is this show makes me laugh harder than Come Town, but not as much. And I think that's good. The that's shoes thing was very funny. It paid off. I laughed really hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Now we can do physical comedy. Yeah, that's true. Maybe next time I'll have a dildo strapped in my head. <laughs> Maybe I'll just be trans. Yeah. Maybe I'll just be a trans woman. Yeah, that's a good and then, idea. But I'll stick to it so no one... You know, I'll just... I'll, I'll walk right up to the line so everyone knows that I'm lying, mm. but they can't say anything. Yeah. Because I'll sell it that much. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's pretty good. Yeah. I like that. I probably shouldn't have said that part. Yeah, yeah. But well, I we will. can cut that. We can cut that. Well, no, you know, I'll just say like, well, that was part of my process. Yeah, that was part of it. That's how. I, don't tell. Don't tell me how to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks. Right. And then roll credits, and maybe okay. we'll maybe we get the maybe we get the music going for the credits. So the Adam Friedman show, folks, written by. And then, you know, Produced by, and that's where your name goes. You can have your name here. See these all these names flying by right now? Your name could be right here. If you sign up at patreon.com slash content. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs>